It's time for another math easy solution. Today we're going to discuss uh, angles and what are radians and compare them to degrees. Well, radians is just another um, unit for angle, and here's a definition of radians. Let's go right definition of radians. Say so if you have a let's say a an arc length. This is say R. This is this is the radius R. This is angle. This is theta is a Greek letter. Uh, we'll just call it. Yeah, and it's used for angles a lot in math. So we'll just use that. And this is arc length, which is just the perimeter here. So by definition, radiance is just that angle, radiant, and is equal to a the arc length divided by R. So this is by definition, and this is used because in my previous video where I showed what pi was, which was the, which was 3.141, blah, 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 and it was the ratio of circumference over the diameter. And if you, if you look at this, so if you have a full circle, you'll have, um, so then, Let's say, well, let's say, let's look at the angle one. Let's call this angle degrees or whatever. And let's say at 360 degrees. So 360 is just a full circle. So let's say that's theta um, 360 degrees. Uh, theta in this case is it's gonna be in degrees. If I write rad, that's gonna be radians. It's just a unit of angle. So then. This, the arc length now is a is equal to circumference circle, which is in my previous video I showed that it's two pi r. So then we'll so to get angle radians theta radians at theta is three sixty degrees we'll get you know we'll, we can write it all down here we'll have theta rad at theta degrees. Theta is 360 degrees. This is going to be arc length. This is 2 pi r divided by r. So we will get 2 pi radians. So now we can compare the two. So what we find is 360 degrees equals 2 pi radians. So, so th this is from the definition of radians and knowing that circumference 2 pi r, we get this ratio. So we could apply this. Let's, let's look at, if we were to look at the circle again, but let's look at this angle. Just, this is uh, 90 degrees. So 90 degrees. But if you see, the, um, this is also, this is, is a quarter of that circle. So this angle is a quarter of, of 360 degrees. And then in radians, this would just be, so in radians, we'll get radians equals, so this is going to be 2 pi radians divided by 4. Because this is 1 fourth of it. So we'll just get pi over 2 radians. But what we could also do, we could use this ratio. This is very important. We could just go, we could just go like this. We can go radians, this one is equal to, we'll just write 90 degrees times by this ratio of radians to degrees. So times 2 pi radians over 360 degrees and then this is just 1 over 4 this is 1 over 4 this becomes 4 so we will get 2 pi over 4 which equals to pi over 2 radians I'll sh then radians is used a lot in math because of this 
because the circumference is 2 pi r and it's much easier than having a 360 well now you, you'll see it later on well where's mine alright well so now you see this this, this is what basically what radians are it's arc length over radius and you it's 360 degrees equals 2 pi radians and so th you'll see this later on I'll show my later videos you I'll be using radians as degrees and you'll understand why it's used more often well uh, hopefully you learned what radians are today and uh, tune in for another uh, math easy solution